Greetings, adventurers, and welcome to the Adventure Incorporated Podcast. I am your Dungeon Master, Anthony Reed. This is episode 178, and it is the ninth episode in the Path of Illusion. Currently, we are at DragonCon 2019. Uh, sometime when this episode is posted, hopefully you joined us for our live stream last night. Uh, we are recovering, I'm sure, uh, which is why you're getting two weeks, not two weeks, early, two, three days, holy shit, you're getting three days ago me, it's like pretty much just here, uh, so anyway, how's your weekend? I'm gonna give a big shout out this week to Adam, Francis, Keys, Michael, and Nikki for supporting this stream. Head over to patreon.com slash adventuring, become a patron of the show. If you get any value out of the show, try to put a little value back in uh, whatever way you can. I also want to give a big shout out to Captain Hygiene and Micah Bailey for helping us with our live show that we did last night. They did, uh, they sorted through all of the survey answers, they put together the categories, uh, Captain Hygiene put together the PowerPoint for us. He did an awesome job. We are super excited about that. I say he did an awesome job. I haven't looked at it yet uh, because, as I said, I'm in the past. I'm almost certain he did an awesome job. And if he didn't, I will correct it next week. So just be on the lookout for that. <laughs> it's so... <laughs> I wanted to play that really straight. It's very mean. Um, especially since he probably did a great job. I also want to thank Micah for hitting up the wiki. You can go over to the wiki. Uh, it's on, uh, there's a link on the show page, adventuringpod.com to go to the wiki. Uh, th those are all ways you can help support the show. Hit the wiki, go to the Patreon, jump onto the Discord and join up with uh, the conversation we're having all the time. Uh, it is, uh, continues to grow. It's a great place to come and have a good time. That's probably enough. Um, I got a lot to do, so... Uh, I mean, I did a lot. Look at all the stuff I did in the past. Uh, I'll talk to you guys again next week. Uh, we love you. Goodbye. Uh, let's get started. Nobles and farmers, knights and wenches, gather round, gather round to hear a tale of excitement and mystery. Brave adventurers facing grave dangers. Keth, the fighter monk. Like, usually when you bring people back from the dead in books, it turns out really bad. That's just to sell more books. <laughs> Gibetto, the rogue. God, it's so good uh, to see something positive happen. Um... <laughs> God, I'm so glad to be back home. You know, let's make sure we get Clug fixed up, then we'll have two under our belts. This Guys. is awesome. Genevera, the sorcerer. Genevera, uh, you I... are a powerful sorcerer capable of uh, very strong magics. Oh, this is the first time someone acknowledges how good I am at magic. Convict <laughs> me of a fucking crime? What the shit? Gillick, the paladin warlock. Can we find you, like, something else to tap into instead? Yeah. What, give up four levels of Warlock? Are you shitting me? <laughs> <laughs> and Asher, the Druid Barbarian. Uh, Asher, like, puts his hand on Gebetto's shoulder. This is the most affectionate you've ever seen, Asher. <laughs> <laughs> Let us recall what happened before. You recognize this symbol as the crest of King Aliar from one of your favorite... Uh, stories. The oh King my god, of guys! Wind and Wait! Lightness. Oh my god! Oh! I know where we are! Uh, I'll cross a long way, probably uh, a quarter, three quarters of a mile away. You can see the other army setting up camp as well. Uh, at the edges of that army, you see Bears. What, what looks like a line of dark six-legged creatures. Uh. And floating above the camp are huge whale-like creatures. Uh, Genevera, none of this is in the book. None of this <laughs> is in the book. Kat just takes off running and <laughs> screaming. Prepare yourselves for this is the tale of Adventure Incorporated! So, do we want to, like, try and lure those, like, 
animals this way uh, so that we can get the pieces without having to deal with figuring out what's an illusion and what's real over there? I think that's probably a good idea. Do we see an... Yeah. Y- Does you guys that wanna... happen in the book? Yeah. None of this happens in the book. Mm. <laughs> what like, is there surround... was a questing beast, but it's not like an actual... It's not an actual beast. It's just like the animal I described, you know, the tail, snake, bare feet, you know, cat head, you know. What is surrounding the camp? The, like woods or field or... Field and hills. Um, so it's an open area, but the terrain is not flat and rolling. It's... Okay. Wait, it's... N- it's rolling. It is rolling. It's hilly. It's not, it's not flat, flat and, and rolling. rolling. It's not. It is just not both not of those rolling, things. But it's it's just not rolling. Flat. He was no, no, right. It's not flat and rolling. It's just rolling. Stationary. Okay. Yeah. I got it. Dummies. So it's hilly. Um, <laughs> let's lure them in that direction. And he points uh, down the hill towards the flattest area he sees. Uh, okay. Two. Just away away from everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so how should we do that? Yeah, do you know how to lure them? Kath just takes off running and <laughs> screaming. <laughs> Why at the beasts. That? At the beasts. This like, is... running towards them? He's running towards yeah. them. Yeah, no, I Why is he him. running towards Why them? Why is he doing because this? This is your fault. This you is... told him that they run. the brothers run into battle. I know. I was just trying to give you some, like, enhanced there characteristics. There he goes. He's gone. He's running into <laughs> battle. Oh. We should probably follow after him. Like, Yeah, I feel like we got to. Okay. Right? Like, yeah. we can't just watch him die. No, you're right. Let's let's go. I do that. That'd be really fucked up. Also, I think <laughs> yeah. if he dies, Asher dies. Or... Uh, opposite. Opposite. Kiln, if he dies, Kiln I'm shouts out, y- Your Majesty! <laughs> yeah, bro! <laughs> I mean, bro. Yes, <laughs> that's in the book? I mean... No, that's not in the book. Stop. I'm not. I'm this. I'm really confused now. I do you wait. want. The armies to follow you and your knights into battle. It seems that you decided. <laughs> no, give us a minute. The... We gotta go. We gotta go. Ah! Asher runs into battle. Just uh, have some tea. Asher is now running into battle. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Oh, your yeah, Majesty, I, I advise against this. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Might is still not right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess the five of you charge toward the uh, enemy. You charge no. the three quarters of a mile. <laughs> <laughs> he was heading towards the flattest region, screaming, trying to attract their okay. attention. That's okay. fine. That's still toward the enemy. <laughs> yeah. All right. As long as we're clear on where Kath is taking, <laughs> taking a run. I kind of break my jog and, like, jog a little bit further back, and I'm like, Jennifer, can I, like, turn into a, a cougar or something? This is hard. I don't know. Can you? Oh, God damn it. And I just <laughs> run faster. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, I don't know if I want to learn to read, but I'm curious now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Can right. Ektar turn into a cougar? <laughs> Find out in this book. <laughs> so you uh, you guys run for a while. Um, <laughs> Kath, you guys are about Kath. halfway between the enemy encampment and your own encampment. Uh, and it looks like it has had zero impact on the enemy encampment. Yeah, can we talk for a second uh, just as we're running? Yeah, um, what's up? Can Kept talk, so far can away. Talk for a second about the fact that 30, 30 feet in six seconds is really not far. <laughs> <laughs> well, kept actually just like way farther ahead than you guys. Well, sure, but like even still, like I'm just saying, like thirty feet is not a far distance, and covering that in six seconds is like a slow walk, right? Right. right. Well, you're probably dashing, so you get 60 feet. Which well, is still not... like a light jog. <laughs> yeah. If you can't run like 10 feet in a second, like... 
Wow, all right. Hey, and all you're right. an adventurer. Look at this, look no, at this wait, cool wait, guy wait over here. Shame, everybody. Look at this, yeah, yeah, look at this cool guy over here <laughs> no, wearing I mean, 60. If you're a fucking adventurer, right? Yeah, he, he's wearing 60 pounds of fucking gear and armor, and he's all like, if you can't run 10 feet a second, <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm just saying, if you're an adventurer... Hey, hey, <laughs> shut up, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is the situation where, you know, D&D movement is a little weird. That's all I'm trying to say. All right. You've said cool. it. Cool. Point made. No one cares. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's, it was funny and mean. <laughs> 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 I love you, buddy. I'm sorry. No, I mean, we're good. It is what it is. It is what it is. Oh, I hate platitudes. You knew it. <laughs> <laughs> a penny saved is a penny earned. How you been? What what goes around? Um, what goes around comes around. <laughs> How you been? Um, I said, "Riddle me this" to someone today. <laughs> <laughs> and they looked at me like I was a fucking idiot. Did you then say, I'm sorry, riddle me piss? <laughs> she was like, context? what did you just say? I was like, riddle me this. And she was the, like... Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Riddle me this, Batman. I didn't finish the expression. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Is that a New England phrase? I said it's a Batman. Because it... <laughs> of the Riddler. This is the conversation we have as ru- as we're running. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that was a Marvel long. joke. <laughs> Wait, did you have things you actually wanted to say while running? No. Or was it, was it just that. like, just that. It's like, hey guys, you know what's real weird? I feel like this is slow for us to be moving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, it was uh, an out of game thing. Okay. Uh, well, okay. So as I was are... thinking about us moving like 30 feet, a sec- uh, 30 feet around and how long that would take to travel. Uh, three quarters of a mile. Sure, it's a lot of uh, rounds. Well, you've moved uh, half of that distance, and you are uh, you're noticing that the other army does not seem to be reacting. That you're, they've not taken the bait and charged forward uh, opposite you. They're just st- standing there waiting. Okay. Is, Keth, is Keth still going? <laughs> Keth. We're there. Yeah, you, Keth, you reached the flat spot. Keth, <laughs> Keth, but he's screaming, though. Did, did you catch that? Yes. <laughs> did you catch that? Yes, you are screaming. He, uh... Three quarters of a mile would take 13.2 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> if it would we take... ran 30 feet, a sec- uh, 30 feet around. So let's, but you ran 60. You can run 60. Okay. Keth, right. Keth waits uh, six and a half minutes for everybody on the flat part. <laughs> yeah, that's about Kill right. Keth's expeditious retreat. <laughs> <laughs> to catch up. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, so now it's just uh, Gillick and Keth standing together. Hey, buddy. Waiting, waiting six minutes hey. for the rest of us. I, uh, I know, everybody's so slow, I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> this didn't quite work like I thought it would. How'd you think it was gonna work? I thought we that we would detract the big like the their attention and then they'd come attack us and we'd get to fight them. Oh. Now. I mean maybe if we shoot up like a flare or something, maybe we Genevera can cast fireball and be like, Hey, come over here. That's fair, mate. I I don't know how fireball works. I can do I it it's just a big ball of fire. You're not here, Genevera. Oh right. Yeah, we're still running. <laughs> Uh, so what have you been up to lately, Gillick? <laughs> uh, you know, warlock shit. Yeah, you know. I mean, yeah, isn't it paladin shit too? You still got you still got your flask? <laughs> oh yeah, you want some? Yeah, yeah. Here, here you go. Hey, All right. <laughs> everyone else arrives. Um, you guys are still about two thousand feet away from the enemy <laughs> army. <laughs> hey. All right. Why did they hey, do hey, hey, everybody. <sighs> hey. <clears throat> this is supposed to be an illusion, but why does it feel so heavy? <laughs> yeah, uh, um, how do you guys turns wear... Turns out light has mass. How do you guys wear armor? Like, how do you do this? <laughs> this is what... Uh, yeah, this is... Uh, 
This seems insane. Gillick, how do you deal with this? Uh, I mean, uh, that's what I do. How do you, how do you, how do you sneak around and not have anyone hear your footsteps all the time? I can't do that. I could you're never do that armor. if I were wearing all this, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you tried just taking your armor off? I've never taken my armor off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that's so gross, that's so, so gross. Disgusting. So <laughs> that is both gross and now canon. <laughs> Someone update the wiki. <laughs> <laughs> Just the constant alcohol cleans it out. <laughs> Just sweating alcohol out just keeps it. <sighs> right. oh. Even that, oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can testify. That's not how that works. <laughs> I feel like that's that's pretty sound science. Right well, there, you know, he right. he would never have to oil his armor. That's for sure. That is true. I I, I made up a can trip that lets me clean myself, <laughs> like a wizard at Hogwarts. That's a great <laughs> great can trip. Yeah, <laughs> good great can trip. <laughs> great can trip, guys. Great. I mean, technically, <laughs> press digitation can do that. I think it's like it allows you to like clean things or soil things. Yep. So yeah. Yeah. it could work. <laughs> so, Kath. Yeah. What was? What why was did the we plan? Yeah. Here? Did, well, I was when we ran a really far distance. <laughs> at what point were the were we going to separate the like little beasts with the the magic pieces on them? From the rest of the group, how are we going to do that? I thought they'd get provoked while I was yelling at them, and then they'd come fight us here on our chosen ground. Geppetto's like squinting. Can he see them from where we are? Um, yeah. I mean, they're pretty far away still. Uh, but like, you can physically see them. Yeah. I can mean, we? Can we shoot them from here? Do you have a spell that has a range of 2,000 feet? <laughs> what about check. a bow? Do you have a <laughs> bow with a range of 2,000 feet? We could send an animal messenger. <laughs> oh, hey, can you, can you, can you guys, guys come meet us over here, please? Uh, we're going to go fight. Can you just come talk to us? <laughs> only the ones with the magic on their backs. We only want the, the, one, we only <laughs> want the magic ones of you guys. The rest of y'all stay over there. <laughs> exactly. Well, it did not work out how I thought it would, but it. Uh, I was just it didn't? staying. What? In, Why? I was, <laughs> I was just staying in character, uh, m Your Majesty. Uh, oh yeah, let's hop back in character now, y'all. To be fair, we did follow him, and I was the first to follow him, so I take some responsibility. Yeah, I appreciate you guys coming with me. That was that was good, like show of solidarity, and I just appreciate it. I mean, I didn't want to leave you hanging. Also, did it feel like we made no distance, or is it just <laughs> like is that part of the illusion, or is that yeah. just like this is dumb? I thought in six minutes I would be able to go more than a half of a mile. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, you seem pretty quick, like, yeah. in comparison to the rest of us, but... Somehow. I mean... You know, I'm not as young as I used to be. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Every day we get a little bit older. Yep. All right, mm. what are we going to do, guys? <laughs> you tell us. I, I feel no, like we should I set up a camp. <laughs> <laughs> We're far from our home. Like we should... No, I okay. actually setting up camp and waiting till night might not be the worst idea, right? Is it daytime? Isn't it dark? <laughs> we didn't establish that. I envisioned day, but uh, I, I, that's I fine. envisioned night. I don't know why. Okay. If I we also can envisioned see night. Three quarters of a mile away. Yeah, yeah. And, like, I envision day. But we're yeah, on a, we're on a rolly, let's compromise. It's dusk. We're on a rolly flat area, so. <laughs> <laughs> you you just look at the world with such wonder, Mike, and it's it's just so interesting. <laughs> I feel like you're actually talking to Mike, not Kath. Yes. <laughs> 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 that was not like a slip. <laughs> no. It wasn't. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> uh, thanks, buddy. So real, bro. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, 
Okay. So let's say it's day. You can set up camp for the nightfall if you'd like. I, okay. Didn't we just run from our camp encampment? Yep. Well, we should yep. go back to our encampment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, but now we're closer. <laughs> yeah. And I... they'll move towards us. So it'll be less than 2,000 feet. Right. It's true. One day. One <laughs> day. <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's do that. What do you want to do? How do I you just, do honestly, this? I just, uh, right now, I want to go back to the book. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want this. I don't want this extra stuff. These un, unpublished pages. I don't want this. Well, there was no mind flayer in there, was there? No, and I would like to keep it that way. Well, too bad, your majesty. No, can you not? Can you... But you're going to be a king. A voice no. booms in your mind, Genevera. Aliar. What have you what have you done? What are you doing? This is not what we agreed upon. No, I know. Uh, but you have, just, I, we're just we're we're just we're going to we're just, just going to chill here for a little bit. Kiln said that you and your knights charged forward. I can't help what <laughs> Bars does. <laughs> you are Barz's king. Oh you yeah. You command him. You're right. I don't what if I don't want to though? What if this is all just too much? What if I don't want to be king? You have a responsibility. What if I thought I did and I thought that's all I wanted, but it really is just too much for me? It is too late for you. Aliar, you are king. You cannot cast down what has been mandated to you. But what if it was an accident? It is not an accident. You were chosen by fate. Well, you maybe in this circumstance. I really want for all of us to be able to hear <laughs> your side of the conversation, but yep. not the voice. <laughs> That's fine. I'm into that. Yes! <laughs> uh, yeah, Gebetto just is making faces. Like, he can't fucking believe it. Like, ooh. Aliar, this is your destiny. You must rise up and be the leader for these people. Yeah. Yeah, I must. And that starts with your own men. No, you're right. But can you just, like, for once, tell me just what to do? You must just follow flat out. your own destiny. No, that's your not telling me what to do. <laughs> That's giving me more riddle, like riddle talk. I know you want me to figure it out. I know that that's like your end goal is for me to the student surpasses the master. You know, like that's your that's your thing. But I I just need like flat out. Hey, Aliar, go kill the cat monsters and then come back here. Or like, hey, Aliar, just take a nap. Just do that right now and things will work out fine. Or, <laughs> hey, Aliar, get your butt back here so we can have other people fix this. Which one of those do you I, guys I don't, do? I don't know who to... I don't know what to do. I, th <laughs> I like uh, Kill the Cat Monsters. I feel like a nap is a good idea. <laughs> uh, yeah. Why wouldn't Aliar, we have a nap? Why wouldn't we kill the cat monsters? Why wouldn't we take why a nap? Why wouldn't we nap? Aliar, <laughs> you must make a choice. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Nice. Oh, God. Alia, you, you must new, make you a, a new choice. You have a new point to synchronize the files. <laughs> <laughs> you must make a choice. It is your decision here. That is but what the. It is a divine right that has been put into you. I cannot make this choice for you. Yeah, but I then cannot. can you at least be proud of me when I make a choice? I am always proud of you, Aliar. You are becoming a great leader, and you okay. will one day be the greatest leader this kingdom will ever see. Let's help her out. Uh, hands up for killing the cats. Yeah! Death puts its yeah. hand up. My hand is up. Holy shit, really? <laughs> I'm not going to ask about the nap then. Genevieve starts crying. <laughs> Of happiness. <laughs> I so know, does Paladar. He really wanted to hear about the nap. 
Genevera, can you believe it? We all came together as a team and voted to kill the cat. We so did it. Proud. <laughs> you can lead these people, Aliar. Yes, I can. I'm, I'm going to. Yeah, let's do it. And Gebetto runs off toward the cats. Well, I guess we're going now. What would you... Wait, aren't they still 2,000 feet away? <laughs> yes. Nope, we're gonna, yes. just going to keep going. So Gebetto's just running. Yes. What would Kev you have follows. your armies do, Aliar? What, 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 can you repeat the question? What would you have your armies do? I would like for them to fight off Lore's armies. Then we will, we will break camp, and we are behind you. Okay. We can win this, and we can do it efficiently, and then we can inspire and lead. And there's stuff. no response. Oh. Yeah, there's no response. Okay. Over, over and out. <laughs> At this point, you're standing alone in a field. Yeah. Because everyone else has run away. <laughs> Okay, she runs. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go kill the cats. Can you feels hear anything? so validated. <laughs> uh, so you guys run for another 2,000 feet. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, roughly. Um, <clears throat> now you're about... Uh, wh how, f how close to the cats do you want to stop? Are they out front? Yeah, there's a ring of cats around the... Uh, Somebody's herded the cats? <laughs> efficiently. Finally. Efficiently herded these uh, cats. Like there's a ring of displacer beasts. definitely the illusion ley line. <laughs> there, is a, there is a ring of displacer beasts around the encampment. So how Which... far away from the, the first displacer beast are you going to stop? As we're running, uh, that is literally word for word what Jabeto asks the king. Um, I think that you should, ooh, what if, well, you're sneaky, <laughs> okay, well, I'm thinking, what if you can, like, well, no, it's not, well, okay, so, um. Where, when should we stop? <laughs> when you are close enough to hit one of them. Great. Okay. And just keeps on trucking. <laughs> Kev keeps pace. No, he doesn't go too fast. Um, <clears throat> so you guys are running closer. Uh, you're closing the distance. Uh, when you're about 50 <laughs> feet away, you see that beyond the Displacer Beasts, there is a unit of spearmen. Uh, beyond that, uh, a group of archers who have knocked arrows. And making his way through the group is King Lore. Um, as soon as Gibetto is within 60 feet, uh, he's going to cast Blur on himself. Okay. Uh, so you, you cast Blur as Lore is making his way through the Spearman. Great. Um, uh, and go ahead. It is an illusion spell. Yep. But it doesn't have like a level up thing to it. It gives people disadvantage when they attack you? Yeah. Okay, well, you will also get advantage on... Well, you already get advantage on... No, no, you'll get advantage on saving throws. Great. Um, Genevera is going to yell to everyone, Try to use non-lethal damage! And not on the cats! Wait. On the people! They're not uh. real! <laughs> uh. None of that is real! <laughs> Try to use non-lethal damage! <laughs> Uh, King King Lore steps to just behind the uh, Displacer Beasts while you guys are about 50 feet away. And he says, Halt, Aliar! King Lore, what's up? Man, the dialogue in this ha book Hail, hail, and <laughs> this, isn't, this isn't written out for me. <laughs> you would march this pitiful force against my people. That I cool. have power backing me now, Aliar. Power beyond your pitiful court wizard. Oh no. What? Did you meet an orc? 
N- no. <laughs> no, you don't know. No, I was. I, don't know. I was thinking he found like an orc artifact, like maybe an orc stone. I just yeah, kept yeah, to yeah. keep reminding myself we're not in our world. I know, I know. You, I see the way you're looking at me. I see your face. Just, I'm, I'm as confused as you are. Trying. Geth gets it. <laughs> your kingdom is mine now, Eliar. Put down your sword. Lay it at my feet, and I will spare your life. No. No, you can do that. You don't use a sword. Oh, yeah. Good, good call. Yes, I will lay down my sword at your feet. But you will never defeat me. Is that, was that, did she cast the joke spell? Is that what that was? <laughs> No, I, I, don't, I don't think so. Like, that's just. And she's going to. So Jennifer is gonna like put her sword down with her right hand, and then with her left hand she's gonna <laughs> ataha out of her back and just shoot a scorching ray at him. So uh, when you uh, reach for the sword, the sword is where you would keep ataha. <laughs> oh. Never mind. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna lay my sword down because I don't take orders from you. Then I, will I kill am you the king and all of your men. Can you repeat that? I will kill you <laughs> and all of your men. I'd like to see. I really, honestly, I think we can work this out. Uh, just with talking, I would love to promise you that I'm not gonna hurt you. But like, we really just need to take care of this wild animal situation first, and then. We can go tet a tet. These animals are mine now. Oh, well, we are them. going to kill them. They're going to kill you. Well, that wasn't a good comeback, Jennifer. Jennifer casts Charm Person. Oh, it's not yeah. Uh, hang on. It's enchantment, right? I'm just, I'm going off book here. Uh, we can tell. Just trying new things. I hope so. Yeah, no, this is what the book thing. really is. Definitely. Jeez. No, it's not. It's so much better than this, guys. I'm so... <laughs> I'm not even doing it the littlest amount of justice. You have to read... And especially now. You yeah. Especially now, you We're have gonna to read We're going to be in it. it. Yeah. Right. Like... Well, no, that's not how it works, Kat. It doesn't... It's not like a magic page. The book's written. It's published. Uh, you, you cast what? the spell. And apparently, barely only me. <laughs> like, I'm only barely even in it. Yeah, but like I'm in it more. Yeah, it sounds like I, it. No, you're at, you're actually in it a little bit less because at least at least Ben is is Dance Dot's dad. Wait, <laughs> wait. wait so I get laid in this book? In yeah, no, and your like, son is really important. Uh, he steals my wife. My wife. How crazy <laughs> is that? Yeah, he probably talks to her like she's a regular person. So actually, their friendship is it's really it's quick case. So it's one of my favorite parts of the story because their their love story is so beautiful because she hates Allie him. He ha- okay. <laughs> we all snap just, back. Just remind me to tell you that story. It's really like there's this just one moment and it's it's brilliant. Okay. Enough. Kill them. Uh, <laughs> Lord turns back in and passes in through the spearmen. Uh, the displacer beasts charge forward, uh, and an abolith uh, careens down out of the sky toward you. So, everyone, roll initiative. Oh, fun! Because we're still doing. I'm, I haven't, I haven't thought enough about changing this. Thought enough about changing what? That's a three for me. Yeah, that feels right. Yep. 18. <laughs> also 18. So <laughs> Asher has a higher so dexterity. 18. You also have an 18? No, no, but I just liked uh, Josh's so 18. Um, I got so a 5. Are we, are, are we refreshed on spells <clears throat> or no? Uh, You're refreshed on anything? Actually, no. Okay. I didn't know if... Yeah. Uh, I, no, always... other ley lines. Other ley lines have refreshed you. So you are refreshed on spells since you entered the ley line. Woo! Okay. It's like taking a nap, it's taking a long rest, it's traveling through a ley line. Seventeen, Anthony. Oh wow! Wow! So, uh, Asher, you are first. Whoa! There looks to be uh, ten displacer beasts in front of you. 
uh-huh. and an and an abolith, and then behind them is a, a group of spearmen who have taken positions but do not appear to be uh, moving forward. So ten aboliths in front of no ten to oh God <laughs> uh, ten displacer beasts in front of me. Uh, aboliths yep. floating an above. Aboleth is above coming. And down. then behind them, soldiers. Affirmative. Fuck an abolith. You don't know. Okay, um, I'm gonna cast a spell I haven't cast yet, and I'm very excited. I'm gonna cast uh, Maelstrom. Uh, Why not Curlstrom? <laughs> he got got him because it's, it's, it's the Middle Ages, Strum. man. Um, I'm gonna <laughs> cast it like slightly, like I'm gonna a point slightly behind where the um, Displacer Beasts are, um, but but it's a thirty foot radius. Uh, <laughs> a swirling mass of five feet deep water appears with a 30 foot radius uh, so it engulfs all of them um, <laughs> Cats this point must water. be on the ground <laughs> or a body of water so it's on the ground uh, until the spell ends it's difficult terrain and any creature that starts its turn there must succeed a strength saving throw or take 66 bludgeoning damage and be pulled 10 feet towards the center <laughs> That's dope. 66 is so much damage. I know. It's never I've never been able to cast this spell because I'm always like I'm going to kill everyone or hurt everyone. What's the range of the uh, area of effect? Uh the range is 120 feet. So and the, you the are... radius the radius is 30 feet. So it's like a 60 foot Oh, okay. Okay, 30 feet. I was going to so say I... then you are still in the area of effect no, 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 at 120 no, no, no. feet. I'm not I'm not fucking storm from X-Men. Um <laughs> But I'm close. Making a big old. Your Asher from Many Pennies. <laughs> okay. Got him. And the so all ten of them needs to make a strength saving throw. So everything that's not affected is basically the um, the uh, big big whale man. Um, and is Virilian's casting cards a bonus action or full action? It's a full action, right? It's a full action. Okay. Yep. Then I'm um, then I'm done. Uh, hold on. Let me get a strength saving throw for Displacer Beast. Oh, I'm so excited to roll these spicy dice. Just don't touch your eyes after. No, oh, too, it's too spicy. Or pee without washing your hands. Mm. Well, I do like Sage to gamble. Advice. First, don't. I mean. Also second, because <laughs> you've peed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is helpful advice. <laughs> Sage advice. You know what? Adventure Incorporated podcast, not all about comedy. And, <laughs> and it's We've had a lot of read. laughs here today, guys. Yeah, we did. <laughs> but it's time to get serious about spicy food on your hands. <laughs> and your dick. Wash your hands thoroughly before continuing any activities. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do not rub your eyes or other sensitive parts of your body. Right. Any <laughs> mucous membrane, actually, is what uh, yeah. you should you should avoid. Yeah. In, in also, reality. other people's mucous membranes. Yeah, don't also rub true. other people's mucous membranes without mm -hmm. their consent. Well, also without washing your hands first. I don't like. Yeah, you know what? if I they say it's shame. okay, I shouldn't kink shame. If they give you consent, uh, then you can go ahead and do it. It's a good point, Gepetto. I, I I need to work on that. Thank you. <laughs> Great. <clears throat> All right, strength saving throws. What's the DC? Uh, the, my the uh, spell save DC, I believe, is 16. Yep, 16. Holy shit. Uh, I have four saves. Okay. Uh, hold so. on. Let me rephrase that. Uh, all of the creatures save. That feels like the opposite of what you said. That's not a rephrase. It is, in fact, a rephrase. Okay. Holy shit. Um, well, uh, they take half of... Uh, ten, 24. So, 12 damage. And are not pulled towards the center, I guess. Half of the creatures vanish. Neat. It's been a while since we fought Displacer Beasts, guys. <laughs> yeah, it has. <laughs> um, and then, so, but they're in... <laughs> they're in... They have to move, like, 30 feet through water. 
uh, I guess like 25 feet because it's slightly behind them. Um, and it's difficult terrain. Okay. Um, all right, next up is Gillick. You're about 40 feet away from the uh, Displacer Beasts. Uh, the Abolith is overhead. Hmm. It has not moved towards you guys yet. I, I cast right. that spell because I figured y'all would focus on the Abolith and I would get, like, the, the chaff. Do you want to... I mean... But now that they've all been hit, we can, like, knock out the other guys. Yeah. I will... Yeah, fuck it. I'll, I'll cast... Um, I'll run up as close as I can to the nearest Displacer Beast. Because uh, I still have... Ex- I'm assuming I still have Expeditious Retreat on. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I'll, I will uh, fucking smite one of them. Okay. Against my... So are you in the, the Maelstrom? Yep. Oh. Is that gonna... Shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. It's gonna, it's gonna do things to me. It is gonna shit. It's gonna shit? Uh, ah, shit. Bird. Thought it ended. I mean, you'll, right. you'll have a save against it. Yeah, what, a reflex save? No, strength. <laughs> oh. Yeah, alright, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> Uh, I will uh, smash one of the Displacer Beasts. Uh, 28 to hit. Uh, a 28 hits. Cool, I will burn a smite. Uh, Forty. Yeah, it's a good hit. Second attack. 27 to hit. 27 hits. 25. All right, yeah, it's looking very hurt. Um, but still... Uh, Take that, you horrible thing. Whatever you are. It whips some of its uh, tentacles around. Uh, looks like it's probably going to take a swing at you. Uh, but first, Gibetto, it's your turn. Hell yeah. Um... I can't believe Gillick didn't just kill him. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go jump in there and try and help out. Gosh. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Uh, you charge forward into the maelstrom. Um, go ahead and make an attack at the uh, displacer beast. Right. Um... <clears throat> 17 to hit. Uh, hits. Hell yeah. Uh, that does, let's see, 10, 12, uh, 23, uh, 30 damage. All right, yeah, that's enough. You stab in with uh, the all-seeing blade, uh, and the creature lets out a howl uh, as it falls to the ground dead. Yeah. Yeah. Um... I look around and I'm like, shit. Uh, probably shouldn't be in here. Oh well. Oh yeah, that's probably that's yeah. <laughs> uh, the other displacer beasts take an action. Uh, so two of them. Well, I guess it's at the start of their turn, but you already rolled damage for them, so never mind. Uh, two of them charge forward. Um, they move uh, the 25 feet to the edge, but they're still in the maelstrom. They're just at the edge, um, but they take swings at you, Asher. Uh, okay. Right, because I, I imagine that you're on the edge of the maelstrom. Probably. They've come to the edge to attack. Yeah, it's also difficult terrain, but I guess they're cat things, so I'm sure that's They are fine. cat things. Okay. Yeah, come come at me, bros. Uh, one of them misses. The second one hits. Oh boy, this is... I don't know if you'll be able to handle this. Six bludgeoning. Oh, yeah, I'm fine. And six piercing. Uh, so... Twelve. Um, and then I, for my concentration, I roll 17, so I'm fine. Alright. So it remains for now. 
It makes a second attack and it fails. Word. Um, so the other creature misses both. Uh, the, the tentacles just come flailing in. Uh, okay. Suddenly there are four of the, these creatures in front of you. This again? Uh, two of the creatures run toward uh, Gillick and Gibetto. Uh One attacks Gillick with both of its attacks. Great. I'm excited. I can't wait. Misses on both. Fuck yeah. The other attacks Gibetto. I pose I, disadvantage. Well, disadvantage it already has disadvantage. Attack? Because it has now player. it has super triple and yeah double disadvantage. disadvantage. Yeah, misses on both. Yeah, it's because of the double. Uh, two more appear next to them as well. So there, there's now four around you guys. Great, Keth, it's your turn. Yeah, Keth is. Uh, he wants to go after the one that's going after uh, uh, Gillick and Gibetto, unless that. Makes me pass some displacer beasts. It sure does. And it right, put you in the maelstrom. But you can fight the ones next to Asher. Yeah, you can free. fight the ones on the outside. Keep yourself safe, bud. Yeah, no, I'll go the, after the ones after Asher because he's casting the big powerful spell thing. Um, so I will do that. And, uh, okay. So before, or yeah, before I reach them, I want to uh, cast protection from good and evil. I imagine these are aberrations. They are, in fact, aberrations. Okay, uh, including mm. yeah, the abolith. So I'll do that as my action, and then I will take my quarter staff and strike one of the uh, displacer beasts with a, a bonus action. Yeah, with a twenty-five to hit. Uh, twenty-five hits. And I'll use a gauntlet. Can I use a, a point of key to see if they... Uh, wait. I haven't used that in so long. I, I don't think you can that. on a bonus... I don't think you can on a bonus action attack. Okay, right. Wait, isn't martial arts a bonus action attack? Right? 19 damage. Uh, I have an extra attack, and my second weapon gives me attack on a bonus action. And then... Yeah, I don't get a second. Yeah, he's just doing an offhand attack. Yeah, yeah. Not like um, not four attacks. Yeah, I get you now. Okay. Right. Uh, so how much was that? Nineteen damage. Okay. Um, Genevera, it's your turn. All right. Genevera takes a deep breath and says to herself, "It's not real. They're not real." And she is going to cast fireball on however many cats she can get in one scoop. Okay, yeah, so you can either Scoot. get the two cats. Uh, you can pretty much... You She'll can hit all four cats. Okay, great. So you hit all four cats. Great, and that's 37 damage. Uh, from a dex save throw of what's the DC? Correct. 16. Uh, so one each in front of the two people saves, the other one does not. It was 36 damage, you said? Mm-hmm. Uh, next up is the Abolith. Uh, the Abolith is flying above the Maelstrom, um, starts to make his way down toward you. Uh, the Abolith, uh, once it gets closer, you realize that it's got like a mass of a body that is still shimmering with this illusionary energy. Uh, and then it has these four or five thick tentacles coming off the back of it. Uh, and a series of eyes dot the open maw uh, of a mouth that it has. As it cool. moves down towards you, uh, it tries to... So, I guess, uh, Genevera, uh, make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, Eleven. Okay. You are under the Abolith's control, and you can't take reactions. Uh, and the Abolith can, can uh, and the target can communicate telepathically with each other over any distance. You, uh, whenever you take damage, you, c you can repeat the saving throw, and on a success, the effect ends. Uh, no more than once every 24 hours, you can also repeat the saving throw when at least one mile away from the Abolith. So... 
right? You're not with you're not with outside of a mile, so you don't get to repeat the saving throw right now. Uh, but I am going to rub my re-roll hey. rub <laughs> charm. Oh, she does have that. My re-roll, my re uh, divination, divination okay. re-roll. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Re-roll. Nice pull. That is a nat twenty. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, you start to feel the effects of this abolith try to burrow into your mind, uh, but you steel yourself against it. You push back, and you see a flash of blue light come from your necklace, That uh, uh, and then it kind of goes dull, uh, and you repel this power away from you. Not today, whale man. I'm the king. <laughs> Got him. That was, that was cool. Best line ever. Whisp- Not today, she whale whispers, man. Thank you to her pendant. <coughs> Thanks. Whale man. <laughs> Not today, <laughs> whale man. Okay. Uh, Asher, it's your turn. Oh, boy. Um, so, boy. just quick question of clarification. From now on, anytime someone starts their turn in there, they'll take damage from the Maelstrom? Yeah? Yep. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, my my preferred... Uh, I'm really mad. My preferred <laughs> program for looking up uh, wild shapes has gone away, and it makes me very mad. Um, Damn you wizards trying to make money and shit. Yeah, I was, I'm, can be mad about this, okay? Let me be mad about this. <laughs> it makes my life way easier. Um, I was going to try and find something that flies that's huge, but um, all these things are just regular huge. So instead, I'm going to cast Blight on the um, big old big old boy. Big old Abelop boy. Okay. Um, it's a, What kind of saving throw? That's a good question. I believe it is. Uh, Constitution, DC sixteen. Fail. Ooh, is it a plant? It has to tell me. It has to tell me. (laughs) It's not a plant. Yes. If it was a plant, it would take double damage. I think. You know, it doesn't have to tell you. It's just gonna have to throw the court out in case uh, the case out in court if it goes. Ca- that far. The, the, you know, you really stuck the landing on that one, bud. <laughs> ba boom. I'm savage tonight. What's wrong? Yeah, with you're me? not pulling any if, punches. I don't know if I would even say that. <laughs> you know what? Shut your pie hole. Your spell doesn't work. <laughs> y- Next one. You knucklehead. Um, <laughs> 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 um. Ooh. Oh. Well, those outdid each other. Ooh, uh, um, and uh, 35, 32, 35 necrotic damage. All right. Is it a magical plant? Nope. Is it a non-magical I, plant? I mean, it depends on your frame of reference. I did plant it in this... Adventure. <sighs> well, that takes it, it, oh. it, maximum damage. Great. Uh, Gibetto, it's your... I'm um, sorry, Gillick, it's your turn. So he has to make a strength saving throw. <laughs> uh, are there any Displacer Beasts still near me, or do I have to run over make to Make a them? strength saving oh, don't throw. I take damage? Make take, strength take saving throw. throw. DC 16, bud. Yeah. I'm going to be rolling uh, a lot of dice today. That's right. Where's my friggin' sheet? No. No. Sixteen. You did it. Yay. Oh wait, so you only take half damage until the. Oh god. The way it's phrased is the area is difficult terrain, and any creature that starts his turn there must make a strength must succeed on a strength saving throw or take sixty six bludgeoning damage and be pulled ten feet forward. You don't take damage if you succeed. So. Okay. Add, so none of those guys add should have to taken those damage. Guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it fucked a lot cool. of things up. It's fine. Everything's great. Uh, are there any Displacer Beasts near me? Four. And did you better leave? Did you, better, did you leave? No. No, he's right there, and there are four Displacer okay. Beasts near you. All right, I'm going to hit one of them. Oh, I'm so fucked. 
It's, it's gonna be okay. Uh, 18 to hit. Uh, 18 hits. Uh, Sweet. Take it at a disadvantage, though. Do it again. Okay. Or else. 19 to hit. Okay, so you get an 18. That hits. Great. Twenty-three. Yeah, you smash into the cat for uh, the cat in front of you for twenty-three. The other one vanishes. Shit! Uh, I hit in the same. I hit the same one again. Okay. No, not disadvantage uh, dis- this time. Not disadvantage this time. Okay, twenty-one to hit. Hits. Twenty-one. Yeah, it's enough. You slam the hammer into it twice, smashing its skull in, and it f- drops to the ground. Ah, take that, you bastard! So there's just two in front of you guys now, and Jibeto, make a strength saving throw. Great. Uh, good thing you gave me advantage on saving throws. Oh my god, You yeah. did get advantage on saving throws. All uh, saving throws. Uh, you, you did get advantage specify. on all saving throws. Net 20! Woo! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> brave, the, brave those waters, boy. Well done. So that ends up being a 19. Okay. <laughs> saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's how I am with deck saves. That's enough. You're safe. Uh, what, so what it, there are. What does it look there like? <laughs> he blurs. You s- strength? Well, I don't know. Just like you, like fighting this t- huge tide against yourself. I yeah, yeah, yeah. He like it. he slams like his back foot down against the pole, and like you see his body like shift a little bit, and then like drop into the ground a little bit, but he, like, holds his ground. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, Kath is, like, gasp, gasp, but then was, like, pumped. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he yeah. goes, woohoo! All right, so... Yeah, Gebetto's surprised. Uh, <laughs> he has surprised himself with his victory here. Right. Uh, there is a... Uh, two, two Displacer Beasts in front of you. Yeah. Uh, he's going to go ahead and try to stab the one that's between him and Gillick. Okay. Disadvantage. Uh, but I would, yes, you're right. It is because I don't get advantage because I'm not hidden. Right. Uh, that's a natural one. Then... Okay. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Oh no! Uh, oh no! There's another. <laughs> there's another reality where it's a twenty-two to hit. Well, Do you, don't you have a luck one. thing, my dude? Uh, that's not how he's already has disadvantage. Like, I guess oh, he could have right. evened it out. <laughs> uh, so make a dexterity saving throw. Great. Uh, so both of them were seventeen uh, plus ten, so twenty-seven. Okay. Yeah, you're fine. Uh, you feel like you go to swing through the creature. You stab into the illusionary one, Great. um, and you feel like you. Uh, overcommitted, and you sure. nearly drop the blade into the maelstrom, uh, but you Ooh. hold on to it tightly. Great. Yeah, uh, Gibetto uses that uh, and kind of stumbles forward. Uh, he's going to use his reaction to disengage. Okay. Uh, and then try and, like, roll out of the maelstrom. Okay, well, you're, like, 25 feet deep into it, so uh, cool. that's, that's hell of a roll. So it looks super sick, and he makes it. Yeah. <laughs> that, was best, that was one hell of a roll, bud. Best uh, right, no. turn That's what ever. it sounded like. You disengage, you roll uh, a little bit, uh, and you get, uh, let's say, 15 feet away. Not right. from the roll, but with your movement being yeah, in yeah, rough yeah, terrain. Yeah. Right. I understand. <laughs> yeah. No, you don't just, like, <laughs> <laughs> fucking just forward rolls for 15 feet. <laughs> just I used to do that when I was a kid. Huge, yeah. Keth did it in a cave. Yeah, remember? With a box of scraps. <laughs> uh, all right. The Displacer Beasts attack. Uh, one of them attacks Gillick. Or I guess two of them, atta- two of them attack Gillick. No. They okay. have disadvantage. It disappeared. One of them disappeared, didn't it? When no, I you didn't it? deal it any damage. You just stabbed through it. Oh. Uh... These ones are illusions. Right, 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 right. Um, so, uh, it whips a few... It has disadvantage, you said? Yeah, I have the helmet that gives me protection from good and evil. Yep. So, it whips a few uh, tentacles at you. Uh, it, none of them hit. Uh, one of them, in fact, the tentacle swings forward and gets caught between two segments of your armor. 
Uh, and when yeah. it goes to whip back, uh, it hurts the creature, and one of the uh, creatures disappears. Oh, it was from the, the smell of unwashed armor. That's right. Uh, Which is now getting quite the wash. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> See, he's fine. Yeah, spin, uh, spin cycle, baby. Yeah, he's uh, not gross. He's fine. <laughs> one of them attacks Asher. Yeah. <laughs> With no success. Good. The other attacks Keth. That one hits. Mild success. For eight bludgeoning and three piercing. Sorry, uh, disadvantage for them. My bad. Nothing. <laughs> they miss. Nice. Dips and dodges. Um... Uh, they do have to make strength checks, though. I have a failure. Uh, just one? Two failures. Uh, three failures! God, do I hear three failures? Nope, two do failures, two failures. Can I hear three oh, okay. uh, failures? Oh my, that sucks. <laughs> one, 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 two, three. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I rolled ten. Cool. Cool, 66. Cool, 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 cool. 66 damage, you know, 10. <laughs> I rolled three ones, a two, and two fours. This is the worst roll I've ever rolled. That's brutal. That sucks. Okay. I'm so mad. Keth. Keth is going to... Uh... Take take some swings with the. He's always going to crack the uh, staff in half, and swing with the redeemers. Swing a ding ding. <clears throat> Twenty two to hit. Uh, that hits. Uh, oh, take disadvantage on this, by the way. Twenty three to hit. So twenty two to hit. Yeah. Uh, it was a. Eight damage for the first one. Okay. Uh, 14 to hit. Uh, 14 does not hit. All right. I'm going to swing again. Natural one to hit. <laughs> that definitely does not hit. Um, you step forward and you end your turn in the maelstrom. Uh, Genevera, so it's your turn. He'll be fine. What? Okay. I said he'll. He's so strong. He'll be fine. Strong. Yeah. Still not happy about it. So I am going to kind of just do the same thing. To cast a fireball vitriolic again. Sphere. I'm just going to do vitriolic sphere instead. Uh, okay. And you're using sorcery points again. Yes. Okay. And it's going to be... Thirty-five. Uh, they all succeed. Ah. <sighs> So they take, uh, what, 17? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're looking pretty hurt. Uh, the vitriolic sphere doesn't help. Uh, they're all splashed in acid. The Ooh. abolith. Does the tries... acid, like, mix in with the, the maelstrom? Uh, not in a. It sort of dilutes. Well, yeah, it washes off. That's why they don't get the second. Yeah. That's why. Right. That's why. I'm sorry. Uh, the Abolith <laughs> tries again to enslave you, Genevera. So make another wisdom saving throw. Ugh. Come on, win this time. I didn't. I, I lost worse this time. That's a seven. Okay. That is worse. That is. You worse. are now controlled by the Abolith. 
Um, you will do... Your action will be whatever the Avalith tells you to be. You will do what the Avalith tells you. Yeah, you start to hear whispers in your mind immediately as soon as oh, the Avalith no. connects to you. Um, it says, you will fail. You will turn on them. No, you I won't. Are, you will. It no. is inevitable. Um, Asher, it's your turn. Okay, um, so do we know that just happened? I nope. guess. Nope. All you, like, you just saw the thing flowing around, flying around. Because uh, I'd love to cast a spell on her, but I can't do that. Um, how many blights do I have? Uh, so I cast one of them. Um... I'll cast another blight on the Abolith as well. So it has to fit, has to make another saving throw. Okay. DC 16. It fails. Hell yeah. Um, in fact, 40 necrotic damage. Okay. <clears throat> Great. Um, yeah, you, it, the blight, it continues to hit it. It lets out a screech into the air each time you strike at it. Cool. Uh, Gillick, it's your turn. Uh, number of displacer beasts in front of me. Uh, the number of displacer beasts in front of you is two. Two. Oh, and I still have, do I still need to make a saving throw? Uh, you do need to make another strength saving throw, yes. Sixteen again. Okay, great. Uh, and you said there's two? Yep. Okay, uh, I'll smash one of them. 28 to hit. 28 hits. Uh, Sweet. Was that a disadvantage? Sorry. Disadvantage. Uh, no, it yeah. wasn't. So a disadvantage, right. 27 to hit. Great. Uh, so you still hit. Go ahead and roll damage. One of them does disappear. Shit. Uh... Twenty. All right. Uh, that's Second that's attack. enough. You kill the the creature in front of you. Hell Great. yeah! Uh, nice. Are there any more? So there's no more displacer beasts in front of me. Not in front of you. Okay. Um. Oh, do you have to roll the um strength saving throw? He did. Oh, he did. Okay, cool. Yeah. But I know there's one that's invisible. And then, is there? Do I see any more that are running around behind? Uh, the yeah, group? there's uh, still two up over near Asher and uh, Keth. I don't want to leave Jibeto alone. I will stay up. here. No, you have you have disadvantage if they already come back. <laughs> I don't want to let go, Jack. No, I'm good, dude. You good? Hell yeah. All right. Go help those guys uh, out. Yeah, I'm going to go run back over to uh, the, the other group. And, <laughs> uh, with Next expeditious turn, retreat still he gets active. blown away. <laughs> yeah. With Expeditious Retreat still active, you get right up to the back of uh, the, that group of Displacer Beasts. Cool. Can I uh, make my second attack? Yep. Cool. Uh, 20 to hit. Uh, disadvantage, right? Oh, sorry. 20 and then... Uh, 15. 15 still hits. Awesome. Eighteen. That's enough. You kill a second one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah kill it. Just smiting all those beasts. Uh Gibetto, it's your turn. Take Great. a strength saving throw. He passes. <laughs> Prove it. <laughs> I choose to succeed. I choose to disbelieve. <laughs> we are in the illusion ley line. <laughs> so, so, because I have advantage on strength saving throws, uh, there is a universe where I had a nine to save. And in this universe, I have a 17. Ooh, I was really hoping you were going to be like, there's a universe where I had a nine to save. And in this one, I have a... Ten to save. <laughs> <laughs> um, nope. Okay, yeah, you survive. Uh, it's your turn. Great. Uh, I'm going to run the rest of the way out of the maelstrom. Yeah, you get just outside the maelstrom with your movement. And now... Um, I'm 
There are Do two I... Displacer Beasts left. Yeah, and the Abolith. And the Abolith. Um, <coughs> have we learned anything about Aboliths? No. Great. It didn't try to do anything last time except smash you with its tentacles. Right, 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 right. Um, right, 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 right. Can I see the Mind Flayer? Negative. Great. Uh, Gibetto is going to point at the Abolith and give it a go. Uh, and he's going to cast Suggestion. Awesome. Um, and he's <laughs> fly away. He's gonna suggest to the mind play or to the abolith. Hey man, why don't you like go take a break and like take a bath? Just take a dip, you know. Go, <laughs> go take a swim. Relax. Do they you have to be able to, hard? Do they have to be able to hear you? Um. It just has to, yes, uh, influence a visible creature within range that can hear and understand you. So it's probably too far away to hear you. Hmm. How far away is it? It's in the air. Like, yeah. you know, over is the it... din of a maelstrom, it's probably too far away to hear uh, you. Oh, sure. okay. <laughs> Take a dip! <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, uh, I guess I said it, so I did it. So, it's like... Uh, no, because I think Gibetto would know it couldn't be heard, that okay. you couldn't be heard. Okay. Um, and how far away are the uh, the other two kitty cats? Uh, they're they're close enough that you could get up next to them if you wanted to. Great. Uh, then I'll do that. And okay. And yeah, I'll try and unseen unseen blade one. Uh, Disadvantage. Okay. Uh, that one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You do the same thing Keth did, where you go to make an attack at it. Uh, it turns out this, you thought you were clever. The one that Keth was near was the invisible one, or the the intangible one. Now, this one's the intangible one. You go through it. You're in the maelstrom. Great. Great, oh, great, no. great. Uh, Keth? Nope. It's now the Displacer Beast's turn. Uh, they make, attack Make Gibetto. that save. Make that save first. They make the save. Ah! They attack Gibetto. At disadvantage. <laughs> this was a true... Uh, there's one reality where they critically hit, but instead they critically fail. <laughs> yeah! Nice! Oh my god. They get swept away. Um... Make a strength saving throw. No, so uh, they go to take two swings at you. The first one you easily deflect. The second one throws them off balance, uh, and it looks like they're going to get swept up by the maelstrom, but they just kick out one of their six legs uh, and regain their footing. They steal my move? Yeah. That's you you taught bullshit. that to them, Dad. That's right. That's some bullshit. <laughs> Where do you think I learned it, Dad? <laughs> I learned this from watching you, you. Dad. Uh, Keth, it's your turn. Take a strength saving throw, please. Uh, I didn't realize you were in it. I thought you were punching outside of it. He fell in it when he failed. Critical. Right, 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 right. Let me check. I rolled that, and I gotta add things. 20. You're fine. You're fine. Nice. Uh, so there is one dis or two displacer beasts in front of you, and an abolith uh, in the sky. So if I spend a point of key and double my jumping uh, distance, can I reach the abolith? I really fucking hate this waterworks we're, we're dealing with. Um, that's really far. <laughs> I feel like you can't jump 40 feet in the air. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Feels aggressive. 
he figured he'd ask. Um, well, how yeah, about? Well, I have a typical oh. standing jump of twenty feet, so I should be able to. <laughs> Kets uh, attempts it, but aims so that he would land on the uh, displacer beast because he doesn't want to like walk to them and risk getting swept away. Okay, so you spend a point of key, you jump into the air, you don't come close, and in midair you just you change your mind and decide to come down uh, on an attack on the displacer beast. Fuck yeah. <clears throat> Roll an attack at disadvantage. Thirteen. Uh, yeah, you bring the first redeemer down. Um, you don't hit, uh, but you are in position next to it. All right. He swings again at disadvantage. Fifteen. That hits. All right. I feel like I didn't use my second gauntlet, so I'm going to do it now. Yeah, I don't think you did. 21 damage. Okay, yeah, it's looking very, very hurt. I kill it. Can you? (laughs) No. He said it, so he did it. (laughs) Nope. Okay, cool. Uh, Genevera, it's your turn. Uh... The Abolith whispers to you, Strike them. They are together. Strike them now. And it no, forces you wanna. to cast Fireball at Boo! your party. Uh, so everybody make that. a dexterity saving throw. We are attacking each other left and right today. Is Genevera an aberration or undead or fey? Negative. No. Negative Ghost Rider. Is she a plant? Negative. She has or to tell a us. Ce- celestial or a friend? Oh, a dexterity that saving tells. throw? <laughs> she is a friend. A dexterity saving throw. Oh, boy. Oh, no, a fiend. <laughs> <laughs> she is a friend betraying you, Kath. Yes. Um, <laughs> thir- she's she's like a betrayer. Sobbing. <laughs> she was the betrayer 13. all along. Uh, what's your spell save DC, Jennifer? 16. Oh, Fuck. No. <laughs> and it's a dex save? Yep. It- Thirty. Oh no. Nah. Alright, Gillick, what'd you get? Three. <laughs> oh no, nah, no me gusta. Keth, what'd you get? Fourteen. Okay. Uh, so Asher, uh Gillick and Keth take max damage. Uh Gibetto, Or not max no, damage, only... full damage. Oh. They take whatever you rolled. Roll very low. Uh, I G- didn't. I rolled thirty two. <laughs> Alright, well I gotta control that one. Uh <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if I concentrate 32. I don't! <laughs> now, also, the you evaporate the uh, Displacer Beast also. So. It dusts. Gibetto takes no damage. Correct. Because I know your abilities. Evasion, Ugh. baby. I'm just, like, so surprised. <laughs> it's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> She's crying. <laughs> On the inside. On the outside. Can't. <laughs> you no. can't tell me what I can't do. Abolith didn't say you could. Well, how he bad didn't does say the I Abolith couldn't. look? Uh, Anthony, does Abolith? the Abolith let her cry? Yeah. Uh, I think the Abolith takes pleasure in her tears. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Great. You're giving him life. Uh, the Abolith looks hurt, but not that hurt. Emotionally? Hurting. Oh, zero emotional hurt. Okay. Okay. It's Fuck. nothing but emotional joy. Guys, we got to concentrate on the emotions. It's not even hurt at all. <laughs> oh, can I roll to ugly. can I roll to save? Uh, negative because you didn't take damage. It's only when you take damage that you can roll to save. Oh no. Yeah, so when it happens, Jabetta's him. What the hell? Genevera. Fuck. Uh, what was that about? It says apologize. Apologize I'm so, to them. I'm so sorry. Why tell would them, you do that? Tell them it was a mistake. It was it was an accident. Tell them it well, will not happen again. It'll it'll never happen again. All right, like wait, wait, wait. Perce- can we make perception checks? Like I know we can't roll against each other, but I guess um, we're rolling against the Abolith. Like his deception? Um, sure. Yeah. Okay. 
so I guess perception or or, or intuition. Insight. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gibetto buys it. Uh, she's crying. Like she clearly feels bad. Yeah, she cries. Yeah, when she's like meaning things and a lot. Yeah. I don't buy it. I I roll twenty four. You I do f- buy it, Scott. Damn Sorry, it. dog. You wanted to roll dice. That's what happens. <laughs> All right. Yeah. yeah. Also, Mike, the player, knows better than to fuck with an abolith. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. So, Genevera, you take seven psychic damage. Okay, uh, and then I roll to free myself. Yes. Mighty. Hell yeah. 19. Okay. Yeah, you break the the charm. Um, the Ablith looks like it siphoned away your energy when it did that. Uh, so it, it regained some hit points. Um, and then it comes barreling down uh, with tentacles slamming down into uh, the group. So one's going to come for Gibetto. How big? How big is this thing? Like, uh, it's, it's large. So, cool. uh, like fifteen. Or yeah, yeah, like uh, fifteen to twenty, probably feet long. Uh, Gibetto, it misses you. Yeah. Um, it's gonna strike uh at uh Asher. Okay. Misses you. And it's going to strike at Keth. That one hits. Disadvantage. Yes. Still hits. Fuck. So you take 11 uh, blood... Nope, you take 16 bludgeoning damage. Ugh. And make a uh, constitution saving throw. I'm so good at those... All right, if it's cocked between a one and a seven, should I reroll? <laughs> <laughs> nope, you still fail. <laughs> Either way, you fail. All um, right. <laughs> wait, that's not necessarily true. Uh, no, uh, yeah, it's uh, 12. What's if... your mod? Five. Your constitution save? And my saving throw of a constitution is four... And just no, I guess it's four. It's just four four of them. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. Okay. So, um, you, uh, yeah, you feel like so it slams you with this tentacle, uh, and you feel uh, a cold clamminess wash over you. (sighs) Okay. Um. It is now Asher's turn. Question. Uh, are you okay with wild shapes from Volos? Assuming it's thematic to Asher. Um, uh, how about a giant flying dinosaur bird? That's CR level two. That doesn't feel super thematic to Asher. <laughs> I feel like I've turned into dinosaur a ton, but I will just say and never mind. <laughs> I, you know what? Fine. You have turned into a dinosaur before. I will no, allow it. Now thousand years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're not wrong. Way older than everyone else. I you're not Earth's wrong. only six thousand years old. I wild shape. I always assume that like the desert had like dinosaur things in it, anyways. But that's anyways. Um, <laughs> Tell me I'm not wrong, Anthony. I I will. You're you are wrong. <laughs> I wild shape into a Quetzalcoatlus. Quetzalcoatlus. Wait, you do not wild shape into te, a Quetzalcoatl. Uh, te, te's I guess a Quetzal. Maybe Wait, a Quetzalcoatl. Yeah, a Quetzalco- a, not a Quetzal, but a Quetzalcoatl. That's Quetzalcoatlus. Were, it's Quetzalcoatlus. A, I think it's a Quetzalcoatlus. Right. Not yeah, a Quetzal. Yeah. Uh, it catalyst. looks like a giant, like it looks yes. like a giant dinosaur stork. It's great. You yeah. transform into a dinosaur Cadillac. dork. Um, and you transform into a Cadillac. <laughs> how high up is the? How yeah, high up great. is the? Um, a catalytic converter. That's what I transform into. Oh, no. No, the... That's what you are by becoming a Cadillac. You're a catalytic converter. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna ask the question now. How high? <laughs> how high up is the abolition? How high? Uh, he came down to attack you guys, so okay. he is 20 feet oh. in the air. 
Okay, I so with my fly speed of 80, I fly up 30 feet above it, and then I fly 30 feet down, so that's 30, 60, with the 20 to meet it. Yep, that works. And You're I do a dive yeah. attack for an extra 3d6 damage. You turn 360 degrees and walk away. You know I do. Um, <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I make a bite. I, Does not I dive you. bomb him. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, what? Roll your attack. I sure... Uh, 21. Hits. Cool. That'll be 66 damage, baby. Roll a 10 again. I will. You know it. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> That's the average for 3d6 da- dice. I was so... Anyways. Uh, much better. Uh, so that's 21 damage. Dive okay. bomb him. <laughs> My beak is stuck in his, I don't know, Flat. side. The Ablith makes one Blow tail attack thing. against you. No. No. Uh, 19 hits as a bird. You sure bet it does, my friend. I do. Sh- I sure bet it does. So you sure take, it? Uh, you mm. take 16 bludgeoning damage okay. and roll a constitution saving throw. Um, so, sure. Hold on, I gotta keep track of the bird's, uh, HP as well. So I take 16, you said? Mm Mm-hmm. And then constitution saving throw. Um, 12. Um, uh, that will be... 11. How does becoming diseased while a wild shape work? You tell me, DM. Great. You feel uh, that same <laughs> cold claiminess wash over you. A thin cold, but I'm still wild shaped. You're still a bird. Ugh. Dino bird. Dino, Dino bird. bird. Gillick, it's your turn. Gillick's gonna cast fly on himself and then go and attack the apple. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna he's gonna fly. He's got a fly speed of of six. You said he's twenty feet in the air. Yep. All right, so Gillick's going to fly bomb him. 40 feet in the air yes. <laughs> and then fly down as fast as possible the last 20 feet and smite him. Okay, great. That's cool. Uh, 25 Hits. to hit. Ding! Thirty-five. Okay, yeah, you fly up into the air, you take uh, Verdoom, you charge it with energy, and you slam back down 20 feet, smashing Ah! the hammer into the top of the Aboleth's head. Uh, It just, you hear a crack resounding out, and the Aboleth goes limp as it floats down to the ground. Yay! Uh, Fuck yeah. Back to the pit with you, vile beast! Guys, I'm so sorry it was in my brain and it was telling me what to do and it made me do it and I didn't want to do it and I'm so, so, so sorry. Yeah, you said that already. No, yeah. but like, uh, it you made it me do accident. that too. It made me say it was an accident and I was huh. sorry. He was, he was like a polite Aboleth. Yeah, I guess so. Polaboleth. Polaboleth. <laughs> the, uh, from over the crowd, the Mind Flayer rises up. At either side of him, uh. a beholder. Uh, he crosses his arms and he says, Ah, oh, you're warmed up then. <laughs> uh, I sneeze in dinosaur. Both you and Keth, your skin turns translucent. <gasps> Ugh, cool. And uh, you are covered in a mucus. <laughs> All right. Ew. Are we slick. in combat? Uh, yeah, so essentially you cannot be healed. Um. Uh, and it will, can the disease can only be removed by the spell heal or another disease curing spell of sixth level or higher. Sixth level. Sixth level. <laughs> yes. So, so not lesser restoration. God damn. Lesser restoration won't no, work. Correct. Yeah, because it's second level. No, that's terrible. Bigger uh, restoration. So uh. 
So I'm supposed to give you one minute to cure it. So you have one minute to cure this disease before it sets in fully. So your skin has started to turn translucent. Okay. Fuck, 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 fuck. Guys, what is this? I gave you too uh, much info. It's fine. Um, yeah, I did. unwild shape and I go, C come, uh, get here. Uh, I'd like to make heal checks on both me and him. Before, no, not heal checks. Not like be, uh, it would medicine. Have to be, is what I meant. Okay. You you call Kef to you to come in and join you. Yeah. Uh, the uh, the mind flayer says, "Not so fast. I'm not finished with you." Hey adventurers, DM Anthony here again. I just want to remind you that there are lots of ways to support the show. Head on over to patreon.com slash adventure inc. Tell your friends about the show. Rate and review us on iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts. Links and more can be found at adventureinc.podbean.com. Thanks everyone, we'll see you next week. <laughs>